A new study published in the journal Science by an international team finds that past changes in atmospheric CO2 and corresponding shifts in climate and vegetation played a key role in determining when and where early human species interbred. Modern day people carry in their cells a small quantity of DNA deriving from other human species, namely the Neanderthals and the elusive Denisovans. Back in 2018, scientists announced to the world the discovery of an individual, later nicknamed Danny, who lived 90,000 years ago and who was identified as a daughter to a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother. Danny, along with fellow mixed ancestry individuals found at Denisova cave, testifies interbreeding was probably common among hominins and not limited to our own species Homo sapiens. To unravel when and where human hybridization took place, scientists usually rely on paleogenomic analysis of extremely rare fossil specimens and their even scarcer ancient DNA content. In the new science paper, the team of climate experts and paleobiologists from South Korea and Italy pursued a different approach. Using existing paleoanthropological evidence, genetic data and supercomputer simulations of past climate, the team found that Neanderthals and Denisovans had different environmental preferences. More specifically, Denisovans were much more adapted to cold environments, characterized by boreal forests and even tundra, compared to their Neanderthal cousins, who preferred temperate forests and grassland. This means that the habitats of choice were separated geographically, with Neanderthals typically preferring southwestern Eurasia and Denisovans the eastern continent, including parts of China. However, according to their realistic computer simulations, the scientists found that in warm interglacial periods when Earth's orbit around the Sun was more elliptic and northern hemisphere summer occurred closer to the Sun, the hominin habitats began to overlap geographically. When Neanderthals and Denisovans shared a common habitat, there were more encounters and interactions among the groups, which would have increased the chance of interbreeding. The simulation of past habitat overlaps does not only put the first generation Neanderthal Denisovan hybrid Denny into climatic context, but it also agrees with other known episodes of interbreeding around 78,000 and 120,000 years ago. Future paleogenetic reconstructions can be used to test the robustness of the new supercomputer model-based predictions of potential interbreeding intervals around 210,000 and 320,000 years ago. To further determine the climate drivers of the east-west interbreeding seesaw, the scientists looked more closely at how vegetation patterns changed over Eurasia during the past 400,000 years. They discovered that elevated atmospheric CO2 concentrations and mild interglacial conditions caused an eastward expansion of temperate forests into central Eurasia, which created dispersal corridors for Neanderthals into Denisovan lands. Glacial interglacial shifts in climate created the stage for a unique and long lasting human love story, whose genetic traces are still visible today. Apart from northeastern China, which hosts a number of interesting and yet unclassified skulls, the researchers found that also northern Europe would have been a suitable environment for Denisovans. Whether Denisovans ever lived west of the Altai Mountains is unknown, but it can be tested using large sample genetic analysis of Denisovan ancestry in European populations. Such analysis is expected to shed new light on the relationship between early migration, habitat encroachment and human genetic diversification.